In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Previously on Living Free Alaska, we recap our busy fall adventures that include taking a sightseeing flight out of Seward with Seward Air Tours, where we flew over the towering Bear and Aliak Glaciers and the Harding Ice Field inside Kenai Fjords National Park, as well as share other activities, such as processing more moose for our freezers and flying out for a couple of warm getaways to see our best friends get married and to celebrate our own wedding anniversary. Click the link above if you miss this video. Welcome back to the vlog as we update you in the year 2023. We hope to get the vlog completely caught up by the end of February and beginning in March, we will be back to a one video per week schedule. So thank you for watching and thanks for being patient. Really, really don't like these warm, wet winter days. They're a mess on windows and headlights and road grime gets everywhere. Our headlight just walked off the headlights and they were just, they're brown. We couldn't see last night driving home because they're just still covered in mud, road grime. But they wash the stuff off. But anyway, <laughs> going to town today. Be a fun one. Welcome to 2023 guys. This is the first vlog of the season and I'm happy to report it's camping related. He missed a spot. <laughs> and that is how easy they Blend in. He's laying down there. Two big old ears up watching this. Don't worry, buddy. Have a good day. Go. <laughs> well, welcome back to another vlog. This might be kind of a uh, familiar uh, setting as well. Yeah, we are back in Elsie today. Oh, yeah. Big Blue are. 2020 Dodge Ram 3500 has uh, spent the last couple days at the shop getting, a, getting an upgrade. A good thing, not a bad thing. A good <laughs> thing. If this is a plan, this is something we wanted to do, and finally, finally doing it. Yeah, I actually can think back to 2020 when we were down in Washington. We were um, thinking about this, researching this and uh, shopping yeah, for this. Yeah, I'm glad we waited a little bit and went the direction we are going now. It's, it's, it's better, yeah, it's gonna, work, it's gonna work out well for a lot of reasons. Right? So if you've got a guess, put it down in the comments, but right. you don't have to wait long because it's coming up next. Well, today is Friday, January 27th. 2023. Yes. It's been a little bit since we've been live with you. Well, up, up, more update with you guys, so. It's been a little bit since we've actually vlogged. Right. I know a lot of our videos have just been B-roll and voiceover of our, what we've been doing in the last year. Uh, we just never really picked up the phone or the camera to actually vlog, so. Well, you know, and a lot of what we've been doing isn't necessarily, uh, you know, just, just our normal RV related stuff. So no. we didn't feel it was maybe not appropriate for our own channel. Um, although, you know, you're seeing a lot of the house build and all that, which does incorporate an RV shop. Um, but, you know, honestly, we've, we've been having a great time this winter. Holy crap. Um, we, you know, it's a question how we can like the winners up here, and, and you know, it, it was, it's a different environment, different 
different uh, climate for us up here than Spokane. That was one of the big questions you yeah. asked me when we decided to move here. Stacy, can you handle the winters? Right. And, and I'm handling she's them. Been done, she's done pretty dang fine. Yeah. Um, it's. I love it up here because when it snows, it stays around for a long time. So It's never melted off it since our first snow in... October. October. Yeah. yeah, we had snow on the ground for Halloween. Halloween. Yep, yep. So, um, so yeah, the snow's still on the ground. And, you know, in, in our place, where we live in Houston, we don't have wind much at all, so we still have a good two feet plus of snow on the ground. When we get here into Wasilla, you'll see a little bit of ground because it's because the wind not melts. It it's just wind. blows in town. So we had a, uh, actually we took a vacation. Stacy and I took, took a well-deserved vacation. Once we got finally kind of settled into the house, that is now fully, well, 99th and done. We got settled in the house. We decided to go on a vacation, a much needed vacation for our anniversary. 10 year uh, ten anniversary. Years. It was amazing. We did a Caribbean cruise and it was gone. It was amazing. We're gone for what, almost two weeks. Well, but <laughs> during that time, it, and it started the day we left, we got, a foot of snow the day we left and then every couple other days we got another 18 another foot another 24 totaling about five feet of snow in, in a week and a half while, all while we were gone while we were gone in our poor house oh our my gosh the house is very <laughs> but you know we have some amazing neighbors and friends uh, and they were able to plow our driveway out so we could at least get into the driveway when we got home but we had a lot of work to do when we got home yes, <laughs> and patios and porches and everything and you gotta get anyway that was a lot that was a great time i love playing the snow it happened to be 25 below when we were shoveling off our big deck in the backyard but yeah you have to do what you gotta do the nice thing with all that snow brought the opportunity to finally ride our brand new snow uh snow machines yes and that's been that has been a lot of fun um it's it's a whole different world you know snow machining is is kind of like well, like you, like you had said the other day, I didn't realize snow machines were like a motorcycle kind of thing on snow. Right. I always tell Gary he'll never be allowed to have a motorcycle, but it's not much difference. Not much difference. Still goes just as fast or faster. Um, but yeah, we put, we got some trails right outside the driveway. Um, I I have not put my machine on the on a trailer to take it anywhere yet, and I've got well over 500 miles on my, on my machine just outside the driveway. It's crazy so it's, it's amazing, and we could go forever out there. We, we there can try to know. There are trails we have been on that will take us to know. Yeah, the Iron Dog. Yep. So we've been enjoying the snow machines, enjoying the, the snowy weather, uh, having a great time, and it just you know kind of relaxing a little bit too, and it really falling in love with the home we've created. Absolutely. It's been it is a dream home. We do absolutely love it. Oh, hold on, hold oh. that thought. I need to flip the camera. No, that's just a half of you. It is only half of you, and now the trees, ah, oh, I missed it. Well, here we are coming into Wasilla. Uh, not quite town Wasilla, but real close. And you can already see that snow levels are, are lessened. And that's, that's just because of the wind. When we got that four or five feet of snow, it was super cold. So the snow was very lightweight. So any wind really just kind of blew the snow away. Uh, down in this area and down towards Palmer, especially down there. Um, so in a lot of spots, you know, you, you see bare ground, uh, which is kind of crazy. You know, we have well over two feet of snow in our yard, you know, yard, but there's grass right there. So it's just, it's weird how that happens in different areas. So getting back to what we are doing today, we really miss getting out and camping and RVing around Alaska and we absolutely love our motorhome the disco and she will forever have a place in our lives so we have decided that we are going to change the way that we rv in alaska to give another perspective of RVing in this great state of ours that we now call home. Good maneuvering there, babe. Well, there was some trash in the road and questionable car activity. <laughs> I didn't know what was going to go on. Yeah, it was a little difficult <laughs> to try to talk to you guys and seeing that out of the peripheral of my, of my eye going, oh, 
<laughs> he did good. So anyway, without uh, spilling the beans of exactly what we're doing, you're going to see here in just a few moments. But we are really, really excited about this new addition to our camping game here in Alaska. It can all allow us to do a lot more things all four seasons. Yes. Might be another season before we really get out in four seasons, but... Well, there's still our own setup time. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you guys get the point. Changing it up a bit. Changing it up. We're going Alaska style. Wasilla Lake with Hatcher's Pass in the background. That's just beautiful. That's home. We love it. Love seeing those mountains. on its own. Otherwise, if you manually want to put it on gas, Well, so we told you we did something. You see what we've done? We did something. We did something again. So, you know, we didn't, initially when we were looking at campers back in 2020 in Spokane, we were looking at these big campers with the slides and, you know, Arctic maxing Fox. out, Arctic Foxes, maxing out the weight capacity of the truck. And then just this last six months, we've been thinking, why would we want to get such a heavy camper that would limit our towing ability? So now what we've done is got a little bit lighter weight camper. It's, it's really it's, light. It's a couple years old. It's a 2015. It's not new. It's not all the flashy, flashy stuff, but we don't need that. And this is a very popular brand that you'll see in the rental fleet up here. Uh, it is, yes. Um, yep. It's a Adventure. It's made out of Yakima, Washington. Mm -hmm. And it's a solid brand. And it's four season. Four season camper. And, well, it's, it, you know, some people shy away from a rental market kind of thing. But if it wasn't a quality product, if it didn't hold up to rental use, then they wouldn't use them in a rental market. So I fully believe it'll be a great little rig for us. <laughs> the previous uh, owner was also private party, wasn't? Yes. The was rental it, I company? I don't think this was in a rental fleet. I, considering the options it came with, I agree. I don't think it ever hit the rental fleet. So. It's just a popular model. Mm -hmm. It's the uh, 96 FB, right? I think so, yes. Um, and uh, I think it's going to work perfect for us. And another thing, another reason why we wanted to go with a little bit lighter weight setup is so we can tow um, our 24 foot enclosed trailer. And now people are saying, well, 24 foot enclosed trailer behind a camper truck, what? Well, there's products that you can purchase that you can add to your vehicles and trusses or extended hitches and all this and that, that you can gain a lot of towing capacity. So we'll be able to tow our 24 foot enclosed trailer with our ATVs or our snow machines, summer or winter. And with this truck, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's the ultimate Alaskan yes. uh, vehicle vehicle yeah camper camper yep. house on wheels it is so all right should we get it back home yeah we gotta mm. so we're gonna put it inside the shop in order to get it inside the shop we gotta move the disco out so we gotta get back home and we gotta do a little rearrangement fold the disco in and, and pull her out slide the truck camper in there disconnect it from the truck and uh move the truck out pull the disco in 
I also want to thank Camper Valley RV for making this happen. Um, you know, we, there was no sponsor, no, no discount, discount for us or anything like that. It's just, it was a smooth and easy trans transaction for us. Uh, they were able to purchase the parts that we needed and gave us a good discount for that um, because we're part making the purchase of the RV. So yeah. it's been great to work with them. Yep. And oh my gosh, I didn't realize they have a huge parts store. The part, their service center is what five, six bays right here in the service center, and a huge parts store. So this Camper is great Valley for the valley. RV. We need this. They, yeah. and they're growing so huge. They're growing yeah. so fast. The, they're adding a location in Fairbanks. So Ooh, good. Yep. All right, let's get home. See you there. Once again, never fails. He fired right up, slides in, cranked in, over, boom. Blah, 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 blah. Gotta pull her out. So we can bring that guy in. Put it right here in the middle. So we got boat, camper, motorhome. We have had a boat, camper, and RV in our shop before. No, we had, we had boat, it was boat, camper, boat, mom and dad's boat. Oh, that's right, yeah. mom and dad's yeah. boat. But Capro, they're both. Hopefully, we have a little bit more room to maneuver between rigs. Well, the nice thing is, is that doesn't have slides. No, no that slides. Is, that is that. That's another reason why we like that adventure right there is because it's, there's no slides, less mechanical issues, less weight, uh, and just easy. We and we don't need it. No, we don't. Need, no, for this for, is for our our use weekend don't. warrior get around rig. So you know, four or five days at a time, five or six times a year. Yeah. Whatever it is, seven times a year, whatever. All, All right. right. Let's bring it in. Sounds good. Don't they look great together? I think they do. Over here, beautiful 40 foot motorhome. You got the Naughty Pleasure over here, amazing 30 foot boat. And now we have our new adventurer camper trailer. However, I don't like adventurer, that's just what it's called. We need to name the thing. We haven't come up with a name yet, so. Do you guys have any suggestions? Maybe you guys can help us with that. If you do, drop them in comments below. Yeah, we'll take a look at your suggestions and see what happens. All right, so, well. This Good is job, it. Babe. Hey, once again, our shop works. The ultimate Alaskan shop. Yep. And complete with oh the bar right behind everything. <laughs> I think we need to make ourselves a drink. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> it's been a big day. There it is. All right. Well, guys, welcome to 2023 with our new vlog. Uh, with life in Alaska and RVing in and around and to Alaska. It's going to be a little bit before we get the adventure out or the, the truck camper out, whatever its name is going to be. Uh, right? It's there, only January. There's a few things we got to do. Um, you know, I think we got to maybe probably support Battleborn a little bit, put a batter, Battleborn battery in there. And yeah, and continuous, continuous resources. resources for some, uh, maybe another inverter or an inverter, another. Parts Some of our, so, uh, our partners, affiliate partners. Right? So, yeah. Um, we got to. We gotta put a Betty's in there. I, I've already ordered yep, already my Betty. Ordered it. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a few things here and there. I don't know if RV snap pads makes little feet for these things. I don't know, maybe so. Anyway, something to figure out. All right, guys. Well, you have a wonderful afternoon and thank you for watching. See you guys next Until time. next time. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.